why are we ending the show? We said what we want to say. We want to express what we had to say about marriage and raising kids and stuff. I would be either repeating myself or, you know, coming up with bad story ideas, and then Sharon would chastise and paddle me. <laughs> we made four seasons that we genuinely really love, and um, we're proud of them, and we're constantly amazed and delighted by how people respond to them. The more we wrote, the more the characters just kind of provided their own kind of story in a spooky way. We, I'd say on average, it takes us about four months to write a season. We outline like insane people in real detail. Then we write a very, very bad first draft. Then we rewrite and rewrite and rewrite and we read it out loud many times uh, to make sure the stuff sounds like real human speech. Yeah. And then we have to cut stuff because we typically write too much. I was just thinking that maybe we should have some sex. I just jerked off. What? Why? Well, you and I haven't really been. Where? In the basement. We never want the sex to be sexy. We never want somebody to look at it and be like, oh. yeah, that's not what I want to do. They, I would rather have them look at it and be like, yeah, that's, yep, I got a cramp, and then I fell over and I made, oh, well, no, I made that noise, uh-oh, you know, so. We just want people to uh, be even more uh, upset and disappointed with their own bodies than they already yeah. are. <laughs> we wanted to make sure it just looked as horrible as it looks in real life. <laughs> we didn't want any tender moments. Yeah. In fact, we have one tender moment in season four, but then I noticed that Rob's wearing a neck brace and, and I start laughing. It's a very romantic, sort of mm -hmm. beautiful thing until it isn't. I hope we've made a season that's more romantic. There's a lot of love and romance and lust in the first season and then the second and third series there's anger and resentment and fighting in addition to the love but this one is is definitely a love letter to marriage and relationships and the power of endurance and saying yes again and again even when things are tough so this one I think you'll know how we really feel about marriage and relationships. Mm -hmm.